Any other questions while we're working? Everybody playing around with the products? It's really, it's really quiet in here. Adam, what do you have in your hair? What do I have in my hair? Beach clay. Beach clay, this is actually a little bit like I showered last night after the gym. I woke up and my hair was kind of crazy and I took a little beach clay and made it work. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> You're a fan? Yes. Thanks, Eva. I appreciate the support. <laughs> okay, so, and I'm glad that that was kind of like a good segue because what I wanted to do with Christy's hair, so far the styles have been, uh, how, do I, how do I put it, like a little funkier, a little trendier, a little more pushed, and I wanted to do something. She's a young, beautiful girl, but I think when I look at Christy, like I see like a very classic beauty. Right, I see. Um, I don't necessarily see a girl that I want to put something on that's like harsh or edgy. Um, although she could support it, she's beautiful. But I, I was inspired to do something that's a little bit more classic. So oops, before I start to brush through that, this is another fun way to use that product to you that you were asking about. We take a little bit of this thermoglide over small sections of hair. And all I, did, I already pre-did this, but I'm going to show you guys one section. So we take the section, put a little bit of that thermal glide over the hair, and then wrap it around a curling iron. And I rope curled this, so I just held the ends loose like this, so they don't get a super hooky end. Super hooky end. Is that a technical term? It's a technical term. <laughs> yeah. all, the hair, all the hair editors in the room are like, super Hooky Curl by Ammon Carver. It's going to be your new signature. <laughs> when I'm letting it, I'm just going to let it cool in my hands a little bit and then drop it down. And you get something that's got like a nice soft tenderly feel. But I like layering on that thermoglide prior to. Just that brush. Because what I found is works really, really well, especially for women that have natural texture like this, is they do their hair one day. And then they don't have time to redo the hair every single day, right? Like it's becoming more and more popular to wake up and sort of refresh your look the next morning. So this is a great product for somebody who has, who fights a lot of frizz, but they want to recycle their hair from the day before. If you take a little bit of this product, take it over a select few strands that have maybe not slept so well, <laughs> and then wrap them around the iron. It controls some of that frizz, but it's completely touchable and soft. So you still have a nice soft feel to the hair, and it doesn't feel like crispy or crunchy, and it doesn't feel too contrived. So then you can do a couple of things. You can take, and depending on the way you have the curl pattern going, like for example, if I wanted to do something that was a little bit more beachy and tossily, I would have alternated the curl direction so none of the curls like intertwine. They all fight each other, and then I would have taken um, a product like uh, either one of the three. I would have taken Thermoglide, again, depending on her density of hair. If she has thick, or if she has finer hair, this product's amazing because it doesn't feel like there's a lot of product in your hair. If you have somebody that has a little bit more coarse or heavy texture to their hair, like, uh, I just forgot your name, Tanya, sorry. <laughs> like Tanya, she can handle something that has a little bit more grip. Um, this is an amazing product. This is called Loosely Defined. And unfortunately, I don't have any models here that have like super tight, naturally curly hair. I was hoping that Elisa Fisher would be here. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Elisa Fisher is the VP of marketing for Matrix and she has like ringlet, ringlet, ringlet type curly hair and she swears by this product. Um, and this is a great product for anybody who likes to let their hair naturally dry on its own because um, it's, it's super unique in its, um, in its makeup. I think of all the products in the line, this is the one that I have seen the less how do I say this correctly? The less products on the market that compare to it. I haven't really seen anything else like it. the most unique, thank you. The most unique out there because it does something for a stylist that they generally have to create on their own. It's a gel wax combo, right? So, I'm sorry, not gel wax, that's what was the product. This is a gel and a cream together. For naturally curly hair, you want the hold from a gel, but you don't want to get what I call like that jersey crunch. But you, you know you don't want to get that stiff gelled look. You guys have all seen it when they put gel over their hair and they can't they, they like they they bounce and their hair just like moves in like a crispy like curly mess. So you add a cream to the gel and you get curl definition from the gel, but you get a soft touchable feel to it. So 
That is all in one product here. This product's amazing for that. Just make sure to apply it scalp to ends and you get those def defined curls that still have a touchable feel to it. You can also apply that to Tanya's hair just to get like a little bit of like definition and separation. It's got a little bit of tack to it, so I wouldn't use it on somebody that has um, a finer hair type like, um, like Christie's here. I'm being reminded of these models. I met them yesterday, so forgive me. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I actually set Christie's hair rotating all the same direction, so when I brush through it, I can get something that's a little more soft and sculpted, and that gets a little bit more romantic and not so edgy or so like funky looking. So I'm just going to brush through it gently, start to sort of settle it into place. So I have a question, so, <laughs> but I don't want to be judged by anyone in this room because I'm not sure if I should ask it, but I'm going to. <laughs> Do you look at styling products differently for people with color treated hair? Do I look at stuff, like, do like, I, would I approach them differently for yes. people with social hair? Yeah, yeah absolutely. One, all right. I mean, it, it all just, it just depends on, why would that be a weird question? Oh, I don't I know. Want <laughs> I wanted to set it up. No, it's a good question. <laughs> you um, that you color your hair. But she's got, well, your hair's color, right? <laughs> yes. As, yes. Yes. Yeah, As of yesterday. Yes, yes, <laughs> um, it's all about, like, color-treated hair, depending on the amount of color that's been added to it, it just needs moisture, right? It needs hydration, so you know, applying too many products that have like drying or alcohol to them is just going to emphasize any dryness that you have. Um, you want to make sure you're adding moisture to it. You're using products like that Thermoglide that's going to be sort of like protecting from the heat. It's going to be offering like light control, but her hair still feels soft and nice. Uh, Max, let's do a couple large bobbies to the back here. All I'm going to do through here in the back is something really quick and simple. I'm just going to take Give her a very quick two large bobbies in the back to sort of hold and direct this over her shoulder. And then, and then I'm just going to gently let some of these top layers fall over. And then as I'm starting to see the shape come into place here, trusty hard lock hairspray to start to brush and shape this into place. And this is where I love what this product can do because you can get like a nice firm control and hold on one side where you don't want that to fall and swing. And then you can get and just take lightly lift the prod, lift the hair on the other side and start to build like some soft volume through the sides there. See, and Chrissy's so cute, it doesn't matter what I'm doing, she's gonna be beautiful too. <laughs> so if I wake up in the morning, can I, like curl my hair with that product in or will it damage my hair? No, absolutely you can. That's on it, that's a, and that's a really great question because um, this hairspray is super strong, right? And I wish that, in fact we could later, if you guys want to, what we can do is after I spray into her hair, we can take and brush through it because even though this hairspray holds really, really well and you can get like seriously like de gravity defying hold from this spray, it brushes out really nicely. What we do at, at hair shows a lot, a lot of the stuff that I do with Matrix is you know, educating for hairdressers around the country on how to use these products and we don't have time to turn the models around between shows. So I have to do this elaborate up to on her hair and then I gotta take her backstage and I gotta take it down and it's gotta look great for me to pretend to do the whole thing over again like it was fresh. So that's how I can use a hairspray like this and I know that I can brush through it and the next morning you can do the same, brush through it and you can refresh your hair and not worry about it, it's, gonna, it's not gonna do anything, it's not gonna damage your hair, it's gonna be fresh and clean feeling. Okay, I kinda have to wash my hair in <laughs> <laughs> No, it's a, I love what's happening right now in terms of like texture and wave and, and the ease of, you know, people being able to wear their hair, especially as we're transitioning into summertime. Girls with beautiful wavy hair like Christy, they can take 
and one day wear their hair like perfectly styled and glamorous and then the next day they wake up and they sort of shake it out and it becomes like a second look and it's sort of like that toss of beachy, beachy wear and they're able to take care of their hair a little bit longer they're not putting a curling iron to it every single day and they're not overworking their hair yeah um is there a buildup in this do you need clarifying shampoo from products periodically? I'm a colorist. So. Yeah, yeah. I haven't had I haven't had any single issues in terms of buildup with this. Like one shampoo and everything comes out. Especially, and I think that you know hairsprays. It's a big deal with it building up, but particularly with some of these texturizing styles that they're really heavy. Um, I've played around with countless products, and I'll just use myself as an example. I've used countless products in my hair, and I like the performance of the product, but I get into, this, into the shower and I have to wash my hair like four times to even get a lather. I haven't had that with any of these. And that's not just me saying it's because you asked me and everybody. That's the truth. It's, uh, you, get, you get a good lather with all of them, and it, it, it washes out cleanly right away. It's a very good question. <laughs> Give him a prize. All right, go wander around, you guys. Or uh, Christine, you guys can play around with her hair just a little bit, and then I will bring up last but not least.